The Christine Shank Award for Young Catholic Leaders was inaugurated in 2018 and is given to a young Roman Catholic who has demonstrated promising leadership in advancing future churches and the church's Vatican II mission in one or more areas of social justice, pastoral care, ministry, advocacy, teaching, researching, or publishing. It is my profound pleasure to introduce our 2021 recipient, Chloe Becker. Russ and I first became aware of Chloe Becker in 2019, when a mural she had painted for her alma mater, Magnificat High School in Rocky River, Ohio, graced the pages of a number of Catholic publications and social media. The mural depicts St. Augustine, St. Monica, and St. Benedict the African, as well as Sister Thea Bowman, Father Augustus Tolton, who have both had open, have open causes for canonization. Since photographs obviously weren't available for each individual, Chloe asked parishioners from St. Albert's in Cleveland, with whom she had worshiped, to serve as models for the holy people. Depicted in ordinary clothing, they are holding the sacred heart of Jesus. In the sky above them, constellations associated with archetypal Greek and Roman gods and goddesses draw attention to systemic institutional racism in wealth, education, housing, healthcare, and criminal justice. She hopes her mural and ongoing work will increase awareness in Catholic schools about racism and African American history and highlight important yet underrepresented African and African American leaders and saints in Catholicism. Impressed by the skill, depth, and spirituality of her work, we asked Chloe to be a part of Future Church's latest education and advocacy series, Women Witnesses for Racial Justice, by developing a series of 15 portraits depicting each of the women to be highlighted in the series. Undaunted by the enormity of the challenge, Chloe was excited to get started and began researching each of the women, learning about and interiorizing their experiences and contributions, scouring the internet for photographic references and seeking the advice and counsel of past Future Church board member inaugural and inaugural Schenck Award recipient, Dr. Shannon D. Williams, the world's leading expert on Black Catholic women religious. The end result is a truly remarkable achievement, a collection of breathtakingly executed, artistically rich, prayerful, and spiritual portraits that will serve as a gift to inspire, educate, and challenge the entire church for all posterity as we seek to become a place of racial justice and equality. I can just tell you personally, every time Chloe sent me a newly finished piece, I broke down in tears. It was just, they're just so powerful. So Chloe, it is with great pleasure that Future Church presents you with the 2021 Christine Shank Award for Young Catholic Leaders for your beautiful contribution toward racial justice in the church through your magnificent art. May God continue to bless and inspire you as you continue this important work at Harvard University and beyond. Wow. Thank you so much, um, Deb. And I'm so grateful to Future Church. Um, Deb, Russ, Anne, and the many others for such an honor um, and for the important work that the Women Witnesses for Racial Justice series is contributing to um, by joining in the voices of those who have been committed to sharing the stories of some of these really important Black Catholic women. I would really like to give also my special thanks um, to Dr. Shannon D. Williams, as Deb mentioned, um, who was so generous and helpful and sharing her knowledge and insight for the art 
um, while at the same time working on releasing her book, um, which is called Subversive Habits. And um, I just found out it was available for pre-sale on Amazon. So if you are looking for a way to dive deeper um, in a really important way um, on the Women Witnesses Project, I think this is such an important way to do that, um, to dive deeper into these stories. Art is a very important way in how we perceive the world, just even in a general sense. Um, but in a very distinct way, art affects the way um, that we understand and that we engage with religion, especially in the Catholic tradition uh, where art is so ingrained in our spaces, in our prayers, our honorings of people, mm -hmm. so tied to our mental image of what holiness is, um, that the white supremacy in much of the Catholic art that we have reinforces racism in the church and in ourselves, not only reinforces it, but is actively engaging with that racism. Art can often be overlooked as simply a surface level aspect of uprooting racism in the Catholic church, but really it has a vital role in publicly exposing the church's history, both the church's racist past and present, but also the contributions and stories of black Catholics that are actively and passively being erased by the church, as Dr. Shannon D. Williams notes, something that white Catholics, that we need to be held accountable for. Religious art has a lot of power in controlling our subconscious view of holiness. So the art of the Women Witnesses for Racial Justice series is really not anything new, but it is, a, is an idea that has been drawing upon the art of many artists in the past. Um, specifically for me, Kahindi Wiley, Titus Kafar, and Armonio Rosales are a few of my favorite personal artists um, that have been extremely incredibly important in subverting white supremacy and religious Christian art um, and who are among a long history of artists who have been doing this work. So it's important um, as Catholics to not only acknowledge but also engage with work outside of our own specific faith tradition um, because we can really learn from these artists in the larger history of undermining white supremacy and Christian art um, that I am proud that the Women Witnesses artwork is um, a part of. So I'm honored to be here tonight um, recognizing the importance of having such art in our spaces um, and in our mental images of holiness and in just fully honoring, learning about and sharing the stories of the Women Witnesses for Racial Justice for Women Witnesses for Racial Justice, uh, the stories of Sister Antonia Ivo, Mother Mary Lange, Sister, Servant of God, Thea Bowman, Anne, Anna Marie Bates, Venerable Henriette DeLille, Patricia Gray, Mother Mathilda Beasley, Anne Marie Breecraft, Mother Josephine Charles, Mother Mary Theodore Williams, Mother Emma Lewis, Dr. Lena Edwards, Mary Louise Smith, and Mary Jane Chrisley Tolton, who are truly the women who should be honored tonight um, and who continue to stay in my consciousness every day, even as I'm no longer um, painting and working on this project. Um, so thank you so much again. And um, I hope that tonight is inspiring for us all. <laughs>